If you are heavily into AI role play and looking for a front end to access the models for role play, then I would suggest that give Silly Tavern a try. I have been using Silly Tavern on and off for the last few months and my go-to tool in order to test LLMs is not Silly Tavern, it is LM Studio and few others. But I have found out that for role play stuff, especially locally and privately, Silly Tavern is the best. At a high level in simple words, Silly Tavern doesn't download or host any models. It is just a front end. So it is quite lightweight. You don't need any beefy system or anything. All you need to do is to make API calls through Silly Tavern to access your LLMs. Those LLMs could be closed source through APIs like OpenAI's GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 or they could be hosted on the Olama on your own private servers. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get installed this Silly Tavern on Windows and then how you can access the Olama based LLM which, is, which are hosted privately and locally through Silly Tavern. So let's get started. In order to get this Silly Tavern installed on your Windows system, first go to their Silly Taverns website and I will drop the link in video's description. From there, click on install now. And then from there, you can see that there are two methods. First is that method one is through git or the second method is through zip. From there, you just need to download this and install it. But I would suggest that you go with the first option. This is the simplest and easiest method. So now let's first install git. Now in order to install git, all you need to do is to go to git-scm.com and then download it for Windows. As you can see that it has already downloaded it. I'm going to save it on my local system. And I will also drop the link to this in video's description. It has saved it on my local system. Just click on open file and then just click next, next and typical windows next things. Just keep going. No need to you know, worry about anything. So all I have done is next, next, next and install. It is going to install this Git on my local system. So Git is now installed and then you can simply click on finish and let's close it. Close it, go to Silly Tavern again. Now, um, from here, all so we have installed Git. From here, all we need to do is to open the terminal and cd to the location we want to install it. So, I'm just simply going to install it on my local folder here. And the way I want to do is that go to search bar here, just type PowerShell and then right click on this Windows PowerShell run as administrator. And now just cd to desktop and then cd to just create another directory with the name st or whatever directory you want your silly tavern to be in so i already am in the silly tavern one and now let's run this command copy it go to your powershell and then paste it here and then press enter and you can see that it has cloned your silly tavern into your st directory so if i go to the st directory then you can see that silly tavern is already there and you should have um, a bat file there which we need to run so you can see that i am now in silly tavern simpler launcher directory and i am going to press enter here to install all the requirements of this stsl which is silly tavern so let me press enter and it is going to install a lot of things here so let's wait for it to finish including python and whatever is needed so let's wait for it to finish on some systems it might ask you about the admin password if you're not logged in as admin user which i am already logged in as admin so it is installing it let's wait for it to come back So all the prerequisites are done and you can see that it has started this flask app on your local system and it will open this window in the browser and this is simply a silly tavern's simple launcher so make sure that you're on the launch tab from here you can 
either go with release branch staging branch or install extras i'm just going to go with the release branch and it is installing so let's wait for it to finish and here my installation is successful just so click on ok that is great and then you can launch this silly tablet release by clicking on it and it says that it launched successfully if okay you can ignore this message okay this is the first time no worries took bit of a time but i was able to get this screen in my browser and this is how you get the silly tablet screen to just give any name of your choice i guess say Fahad Mirza and then you can simply click on save here so this is my current persona and my messages will be sent as Fahad Mirza now and now let me show you how you can connect your Olama locally hosted LLM with this silly tavern. Let me take you to my Olama console which I am running in Putty. So I already have Olama installed here and I am running this model which is Phi at the moment. As you can see that Olama run Phi it is running on my remote system or remote server. So let's go back to where I have installed silly tavern. And this server is a Ubuntu one where Olama is running and where I have installed this Siri Tavern is my Windows system as if you remember. So let's go back there. Now click on this plug icon in Siri Tavern then select your API. There are different options like text completion, chat completion. Let's go with text completion, API type. There are a lot of things which you can do with it because we are doing it with Olama. So select Olama. And this is a public IP of my Olama server with port 11434. And then as soon as I connected it, it is showing me. So just click on this connect and it is going to show you which models are running on your Olama. As we are simply running Phi. So it has already connected to the Phi. And then you can just simply uh, click on connect again. And this green icon is showing you that it is already connected to your Phi server. Now, if you want to chat with your model, again, click on plug, click on chat completion. And again, maybe, you know, you can select your cloud, open router, A21, Mistral, and then any other open AI compatible one, which you can select from here. Now, for example, if you want to do open AI, you can simply go and put your key here or you can select your GPT-4 or any other model which you like. And then you can chat in this chat box. Similarly, if you want to do it with OpenAI, just click again on plug icon. And as I said earlier, just click on chat completion and then you would need to put your OpenAI key here. That's a paid option. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this little uh, tutorial about Silly Tavern as how to get it installed and then how to connect it with Olama hosted your LLMs. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. And if you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps. Thanks for watching.